I can't hear a thing you're saying. I got all this music in my ear. Okay, welcome to Bob Wolfram Field here in Why Missing for more BCIAA lacrosse action here on Flagship Network. My name's Bruce Badgley. Thanks a lot for joining us here this afternoon. A little bit of a windy, cloudy afternoon, but uh, both teams here, uh, Daniel Boone and Why I'm Missing, ready to face off in some BCIAA uh, 2A lacrosse action. Uh, Daniel Boone comes in. Uh, with a record of uh, two and six. Uh, last week or earlier this week, they lost to uh, Burks Catholic 19 to 13 uh, on a four game winning streak is uh, why I'm missing. Uh, they're at six and one. They beat Schuylkill Valley 20 to five on Tuesday. So uh, uh, why I'm missing with some uh, starting lineup of uh, Beckett Redner, Chase Mags, Adam Baker, Ari Levine, Josie Torres, Logan Hyde, Ethan Conrad, Caden Ingram, Charlie Helgeson, Aiden Jimenez, and Keaton 
Piscini, and uh, he's in the goal, and he's a freshman, and a lot of people with uh, a lot of good things to say um, about uh, Keaton and his uh, uh, play so far. And for Daniel Boone today, Brandon Shutter, Christian Salguero, Aiden Gershon, Brody Inman, Colin Reed, Jake Myers, Gabe Seglein, Nolan Tyndall, Jordan Meyer, and Liam Hedgepath on the starting lineup. So it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Looking forward to all of the talent that uh, Weil is going to uh, put on the field there. They've got a couple of D1 recruits, or uh, uh, actually three guys uh, right now that are going to play at the next level. Logan Hyde, Caden Ingram, and Chase Maggs. So we are going to be ready for the faceoff here in a couple of minutes as we go to break. So thanks a lot for joining us today.
Welcome back to welcome back to Bob Wolfram Field here, and uh, you can see uh, why I'm missing high school there. A uh, great facility and uh, just a beautiful grass field. As we uh, kind of segue over to uh, the turf here, the one thing that uh, I think is important for all of you fans to realize today, watching this game, and you see it so rarely, is the fact that this is just a lined lacrosse field, which really will give you a sense exactly of you know, uh, the dimensions and whether something is in or out of bounds, especially on the sidelines, so very important. So we are uh, ready to go. Looks like that's uh, number nine, Ethan Conrad, and, uh, or excuse me, uh, number nine, uh, Brody Inman, and uh, number 12, um, Carter Ernst. Ready to go? Thanks for joining us here on Flagship Network, our coverage of BCIA lacrosse. And face-off, so very important in lacrosse. And off we go. And it looks like Wyo digging it out there. That's number nine, Ethan Conrad. Quickly, uh, nice shot there. That was number 13, Chase Mags. Good save. Uh, by the goaltender there, Hedgepath. And why missing quickly in the attack zone to start this one off? Second line now. Uh, excuse me, that's uh, number four, Brandon Shutter off to Colin Reed. Wow, kind of around the horn here quickly. Behind the net, that's uh, Christian Salguero. Good defense here by Boone. They're kind of sagging in, waiting for Wyo. And a great shot. Beautiful shot. That's Gabriel Sigline. And the first shot for him finds the top shelf. And Wyo quickly out to a one to nothing lead. Uh, barely, uh, not even a minute into the game. Incredible. So one to nothing Wyo. That goal will go to number 15, Logan Hyde. Excuse me, I'm sorry, <laughs> Logan Hyde. <laughs> Logan, a D1 recruit, going to Wagner. So we're ready to go once again. And Wyo again with the face-off win. R.P. Allenbach. And that's number 15 again, Logan Hyde, who just scored the goal. Beckett Redner. And on the ground ball in front, but the long stick in there, no good. The shot, and a good save there by Hedgepeth. And a long pass down, and gives it right back to Wild. Oh, but misplayed at the midfield. And quickly with the long stick there, that's number 88, uh, Aiden Jimenez. And in for the goal, quickly, number 13, Chase Mags. I mean, just point blank range on there. That goaltender really does not have a chance. So quickly, two to nothing in less than two minutes. That goal will go to number 13, Chase Maggs, with an assist from number 88, Aiden Jimenez. And Aiden Jimenez, uh, you know, with that uh, good stick handling to set that one up, gets the assist. So back we are at midfield for the faceoff. And the very important faceoff again by Arlenbach. But Boone with the ground ball. Nice job there by number 13, Colin Reed, but he loses it. And Wyo now setting it up. That is number 13, Chase Mags. And back out there to number 15, Logan Hyde. And Wyo now ready to set this one up. Around the horn they go. 
Seeing what kind of defense. Looks like a man-to-man -man defense with uh, Boone kind of sagging back a bit. But Logan Hyde right into the center. Oh, low, but a nice save by Hedgepeth there. And the ground ball to the Blazers. But they got to do a little bit better here. Take their time to get it out of their own net. They don't need to uh, get too fast, but looks like they got some numbers here. And the Blazers choose to uh, slow it down. That's Gabriel, Gabriel Segalein with the ball. Lefty here behind the net. You know, talking to Coach Wagner before the game, he felt that they were going to play pretty deliberate, the Blazers, today. So, you know, even though Wyo's off to a quick 2-0 start, no reason to get ahead of yourself. You can only score one goal each possession. Got to take him a possession at a time. As you can hear in there, awful breezy here today, but so far no rain. And that's uh, number 15 there, Gabriel Segaline. Trying to find an opening and a smart move there. And around the horde they go. That's number 22 there, Dan Spots. This time for the Blazers. Ground ball. And who's going to come up with it? You know, on this regular grass, this is a lot different for most of the players. It's really, you literally got to dig it out. So Wyo now with the takeaway and quickly, here's Logan Hyde up the left side leading the charge. Down through the center there, that's number 27, Tyler DeFribzio. Number five with the top shelf goal is Beckett Redner. Wow. With the left hand there, I mean, he rocketed it there. There's no way a goaltender is going to stop it, even stick side up high like that. As, uh, as well as he shot it there. That goal will go to number five, Beckett Redner with an assist from number 13, Chase Mags. So Beckett Redner with the goal. And just that quick while up three to nothing here. 7.49 remaining in the opening quarter. You know, just where you th when you thought uh, the Blazers were going to get something going on offense. Just shows you how quick things can change here um, in the cross. That's uh, Redner again going right toward the goal. And we got a whistle. Not entirely sure what the call looks like. We had a little bit of an air interference call. So the Blazers with the ball quickly moving it up the side there and good defensive play but coming up with it is number 22 Dan Spots again for the Blazers boy look at that Y.O. defense just not giving an inch regardless Christian Salguero over to Aiden Gershon And you can see, it's just kind of mano y mano, and they're backing everybody in. Look, he breaks the defense there, and the goal there. Beautiful play. That was a great offensive set. I believe that was number eight, Aiden Gershaw, with the goal. And just well done there. What they did is they just kind of cleaned out, uh, cleared out the area and put him one-on-one -on -one with that the goal goalie. Go to number eight, Aiden Gershon. So as you can hear the announcement there, Aiden Gershon with the goal, and the... Blazers are on the board, three to one, but really good offensive set for the Blazers to get back in this. That's going to give them some good confidence. When Keaton Pacini, he boy, he tell you what, he had a he had a tough time one on one. Anytime you're one on one with a player in lacrosse, typically that is going to favor the attackman going in there each and every time. So, while now with the possession. Schwambach in the game there. Number four gives it back over to uh, Redner and around the horn. 
Chase Mags now with it on the left side as have a few substitutions here for a while. Schombach thought about it. Back to Redner. Logan Hyde, and he's going to try one on one. And a nice save there by Hedgepath. Pretty easy save. That was quite from distance. And again, Boone may, trying to take off a little bit more than they can chew, but they still end up with the ground ball and good defense there by Logan Hyde. And out of bounds. It looks like that's going to be wild possession. In lacrosse, last touched would go to the other team. The team last touching it as it goes out of bounds on a pass will go over to the other team. So why am I missing now? Deliberately on offense here. And back out to number 13, Chase Mags. Boy, Mags trying to fight his way through there. Low shots blocked in the crease. And good defense. It looks like we're going to have a penalty against Weil. Not sure if this is going to be a man advantage or not. We'll see from the official. Whether it's a minute or 30 seconds, looks like it is going to be a man advantage. And it gives the information to the official. Looks like it's going to be a 30 second uh, violation. So if you're going to get a penalty, you obviously want to get it in, uh, in your opponent's other end. So it requires them to kind of burn some clock themselves. So it does look like a, a man advantage for Daniel Boone. That's number eight, Aiden Gershon, who scored the Blazer goal, bringing it up. And you can see there, good spacing here, but that Y.O. defense really picking up high. Segaline, way out top there, Gershon. You can see they're, they're really trying to open up that Y.O. defense so that they can get some one-on-one -on -one action and get to the goal. Nice pass right in the crease and a score! Beautiful there. That's number four, Brandon Shutter. But a great pass, and he was wide open in the crease. Or near the crease. So it's three to two here, Spartans. Uh, Blazers coming back, and you know, obviously, that's where the man advantage That goal goes to means number four, Brandon Shutter, with an assist from number eight, Aiden Gershon. And Aiden Gershon with the assist. So we've got a battle here in quarter number one. Spartans three, Boone two. 4.46 remaining here in the opening quarter. Bob Wolf from Field, thanks for joining us here on Flagship Network. I'm Bruce Badgley with some BCIA lacrosse action. And another face-off win there by uh, Allenbach. Well, that's just so huge in this game. Looking for some opening, and that's a pass, not a shot, so that ball's gonna go over to Boone. You know, not really what Wild wanted to do there. A quick turnover, gives the ball back to Boone with some momentum. And still plenty of time in the quarter. Four minutes, 30 seconds. They can take their time. Wyo not doing too much on the four checking. That's Gabe Segaline. Over to number 22, Dan Spots. And they're just kind of seeing what kind of defense Wyo's going to put up there. But a, a, a kind of a tough pass. I don't know if the official is going to rule that a shot. It ends up not that, not going out of bounds uh, with the grass here. Didn't quite make it to the end line. And that, oh, great shot. 
but wide there. That was a shutter with another nice opportunity there close to the, uh, to the crease. Quickly, Boone on the attack once again. Oh, nice save there. Beautiful save, actually, by uh, Pacini. Pacini. For a while, he's a big body there and a junior. That really helps when you're a, a big goaltender. So much of goaltending is positioning. Think it from an old goaltender like me. And look at that long pass to the long stick in the goal area, Ethan Conrad. And he hands it off. Chase Mags looking for an opening. Torres around the horn here. That's Beckett, or excuse me, Redner. Trying to find it. Oh, but that's a point blank shot there. That's number 33, Adam Baker with a gift. I mean, that was a great, great feed. And with that kind of point blank uh, look at the goaltender, that's, that's always going to be a goal. So Wild quickly back up, 4-2. to two. 2.56 here, just under three minutes remaining in the opening quarter of this one. That goal will go to number 33, Adam Baker, with an assist from number five, Beckett Redner. Yeah, Beckett Redner, I mean, he uh, uh, just kind of waited for um, Baker to, to come open. And that's just a great job on the faceoff there by Brody Inman for the Blazers. But it's still anybody's ball. And quickly, Boone now with the possession. That's number five, Christian Salguero. Oh, good pass, but broken up just as well, I believe. And now that's Baker with it for a while. And that's a pass. It's going to go out of bounds. That's an unforced error, giving the ball back over to the Blazers. This time, Wild with a little bit more pressure. And the long stick going forward. And that's a great check there by number five, uh, Beckett Redner. On the stick, knocking the ball out of bounds, giving it back to Wild. Just good forechecking there by Redner. So Wild back on the attack. Number 33 there, Adam Baker. Logan Hyde. Schwambach. Around the horn we go. Wild behind the net. That's number five, Redner. He's done well from behind there and setting up his players. And again, that was a shot. Nice pass to Logan High, but that shot's wide. But with the shot, player or team closest to when the ball goes out there gets control. So Wild on the missed shot will try it again. Logan Hyde. Surveying the field. Good screen there. And that screen perfectly set up that goal by Hyde. You can see how he utilized that screen very similarly, you know, to basketball where he just uh, sets a pick and Hyde goes around it and top shells it for another goal. So five to two Wyo as we wind down corner number one with this BCIA action. Here on, on, the, on flagship network here, actually. I mean, it's really starting to uh, turn out to be a nice afternoon. A little breezy, but boy, the sun's coming out. Sun splashed here now at Bob Wolfram Field here at uh, Wyomissing High School campus. And again, number 42 there, Allenbach with the all-important face-off win for while. Quickly around the horn, that's uh, Beckett, or excuse me, Redner, Beckett Redner. Oh my, look at that, a tough angle. Top shelves it there. Beckett Redner knocks it into the net, and that's quickly six to two. Just shows you how important that face-off is, fans. 
I mean, it was basically face off, one pass, and a score. That goal goes to number five, Beckett Redner. So Beckett Redner, his second goal of the game. Wow, now starting to pull away a little bit. This is where this faceoff is so important. Daniel Boone's got to get back into it. A faceoff can change the momentum. Still fighting for it on the ground. And again, Waya with the faceoff win. That's Torres quickly down. Chase Mags and a ground ball. Boone trying to get it there. Boy, I tell you what, those guys are really hacking at it. Down near the goal. Oh, that's right in front. But Boone with the possession. And the long stick there, number 26 there, Jordan Meyer. Look at him go up the sidelines. And I think we got a timeout. And I think that's a good timeout there by Coach Wagner for uh, Daniel Boone. Wants to basically kind of settle the troops down, kind of talk a little bit about, you know, what they've got to do. There's 39.5 seconds remaining in the quarter. And, you know, it was funny. I was talking to Coach Wagner about this before the game, how important um, it is here. Uh, the one thing that uh, with the possession Boone's got to do, they've got to make sure either they're going to take a shot and score or take a shot and not score, but they can't give up the ball. They've got to try and burn these last 39.5 seconds and not allow Wild to get a turnover and possibly another goal. So, uh, yeah, had great conversations with both coaches before the game, Coach Wagner especially, um, uh, Coach Andrew Wagner for uh, Daniel Boone, just a really good guy. And uh, we were just kind of talking about uh, lacrosse here in District 3. Um, he's had, uh, you know, a, a son uh, go through, uh, you know, the uh, uh, trials and tribulations of being a lacrosse player. And now uh, his son's moved on. And um, Coach Wagner coaching Daniel Boone there. And uh, he's got a young team that he's trying to develop. Uh, but you can see out there, I tell you what, they've played this tough why missing team very competitively here in the first quarter. Here at Bob Wolfram Field at uh, Why I'm Missing. Thanks for joining us here. Flagship Network. I'm Bruce Badgley. Uh, our man that really makes this thing uh, run, Brandon Faust, with our uh, uh, BNB Media Flagship Network man, who is the man. So, ready to get back at it. And again, this is a little bit unusual for lacrosse. Usually the JV game will uh, be the first game. But here at Wild, because we don't have any lights, they want to make sure that the varsity game gets its due. So varsity game always first. No lights here. I mean, the way, uh, the old-fashioned way here. No lights on grass. This is how we all grew up playing sports. So Boone, quickly in the attack zone. Behind the net, that's uh, Segaline looking for anybody at this particular point. But you can see they just want to run the clock. They're going to run one play and see if they can get a goal. Looking inside there, that's number 22, Spots. He's going one-on-one. -on -one. Look at here. Back behind the goal. And look at here. Oh, a ground ball. That is going to just about run out the clock. About the only option they had was to get the ball into the crease there. And we'll be back with quarter number two.
Welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Bob Wolfram Field here at uh, Y Missing. Another great look there at uh, Y Missing, this beautiful campus here. Y Missing High School, uh, one of the unique places in uh, PIAA sports, that's for sure. Uh, Bob Wolfram Field, and want to thank our friends at Palumbo Foods for their support of, of this broadcast. Really appreciate it. As it's BCIAA action. After one quarter, uh, we've got Y missing up six to two over Daniel Boone. My name's Bruce Badgley, Brandon Faust, and the gang here at uh, Flagship Network bringing you all the action live from Y missing. Everybody's used to seeing, uh, you know, the football players run up and down on, you know, that green grass. And uh, it's uh, interesting to see, you know, another sport out there on formerly known as the A-Field, but now it's obviously uh, Bob Wolfram Field. So second quarter coming up. Thanks for joining us, as I said, on Flagship Network. And again, I tell you what, um, R.P. Allenbach is just for why I'm missing. Just done an incredible job with face-off wins in uh, the first quarter. He'll be going up against, I believe, uh, number nine there, uh, Brody Inman. And there we go. And Inman wins it this time quickly. Boone on the attack. And they're going to take their time. Watch out. Oh, my. That substitute just came up from behind him. He had no idea. Picked up. And a, a, a nice save there. Beautiful save by Pacini for a while. And Boone now with the ground ball pick up at midfield. Behind the net there, that's uh, Dan Spots. Played strong for the Blazers so far today. And look at that wild defense, how deep they're picking him up behind the net. That's number 15, Gabe Sigalein. Segalai now looking for some help. Out to the side, and boy, you just can't do that. You just can't. You've got to be crisp with those passes in the attack zone and miss the mark there to turn it right back over to Wyoming. missing. Nice move by Logan Hyde to get it into the attack zone. That's Ethan Conrad, and he was trying to feed it on the inside there, kind of missed the mark, and... That's going to go over to Boone. That was a pass, not a shot. Can't confuse that, even if it goes beyond the goal line there. And so they're going to get the goaltender involved. And you can see they're kind of letting the goalie do it, and they are shadowing, you know, the defenseman. So, uh, and a long pass there. Not really a fan of that. Basically, you're just giving the ball back up rather than trying and uh, methodically moving it up the field. And a nice shot there by 13, Chase Mags. And again, Hatchpath with a nice save. Trying to get things going there is uh, Torres. And again, Weil around the back of the net. Good defense there by Boone, and uh, looks like Spots comes up with it in the crease for the Blazers. And again, I, you know, Boone just trying to get too greedy rather than to take their time and kind of methodically move the ball up the field. They're trying long, low percentage passes, and that just isn't going to work against why I'm missing. Aiden Jimenez to Torres and and it looks like we've got some type of an interference call that's going to turn the ball back over 
to the Blazers. So 9.21 to go, no scores here in quarter number two. Spartans still up six to two. And uh, just uh, like I said, uh, he got that through, but that was a low percentage pass. And quickly, that's number five, Salguero. And a beautiful shot and score by number four, Brandon Shutter. And that's the key. Boone kind of methodically got the ball up the field rather than to get too greedy with the long passes. And what happens? Hey, they score a goal. Six to three. Now. That goal goes uh, to number four, Brandon Shutter, with an assist from number five, Christian Salgaro. So Christian Salgaro got the assist. And now an all-important face-off here for Daniel Boone. They won the last face-off. Hey, guess what? They got a goal. Let's see what happens this time. Brody Inman for the Blazers. And coming up with it, I tell you, it's been a battle there with R.P. Allenbach. And Allenbach wins this one. So Wild taking their time. That's Chase Mags. Surveying the field, kind of waiting to get his guys that he needs out on the field. So while methodically bringing it up there, that's uh, Logan Hyde. Setting things up for the Spartans. Well, he's all by himself. And some good defense in front of the goal there. That's number 14 coming out with it, Jake Myers, but he loses it. Torres and wide open there, but good defense. Good defense by the Blazers. But Wild retains possession quickly around the horn. That's number five, Beckett Redner. Did he get it? Yes, they're giving him the goal. Wow, a little bit of, it was difficult to see for sure. Gonna wait for the official call on who got the uh, score there. That goal will go to number five, Beckett Redner. Okay, Redner did, does get credit for the goal. I believe that's his third of the game. So seven to three now while with 7.57 remaining in the first half. And again, a great faceoff win for RP Allenbach for while sets things up again for the Spartans. Chase Mags now over to Logan Hyde, Hyde, oh, that's a beautiful save right onto the stick there by Hedgepath. He saw that one all the way and a clean save. And again, this is where Daniel Boone's had some issues is after, after a save getting the ball out of their own end and they turn it over while but the ground ball is gonna be picked up by Dan Spots. Oh, he goes past it, ouch. Looked like a slash, but he got away with it. And it looked like uh, a stick to the head and they're gonna give the ball over to Boone. And here we go. Aiden Gershon. Who had the first goal for the Blazers. Kind of setting things up. You can see Wile has really extended their defense out. Segaline behind the net. Shutter. Good defense there by uh, Eden Jimenez, number 88. He's a big boy. Talked to Eden before the game. And a nice save, good, oh, just a wonderful pickup, just a double save there, wow. Keaton Passini, it's a great job, and here's Jimenez with the long stick. Oh, wide open in front of the net, and another great save by Hedgepath, and another nice save by Hedgepath. 
These goaltenders, oh, look at that block right in front. This <laughs> incredible action here, and he throws it away again. Difficult time for Boone getting it out of their end. That's number 13 on the run, Colin Reed, and it's intercepted again there by 88 Jimenez. And he's leading the charge quickly, number 13, Chase Maggs. And he's gonna kind of settle it down a little bit. At least let the announcer catch his breath. And around the horde it goes. Oh, nice grab there by number five, Redner. He's gonna see what he can do with the ball. Oh, fakes out the guy. And somebody was wide open and it, kind of a tough pass into the, right in front of the goal, still a ground ball. Anybody's ball there and Wild picks it up. Logan Hyde. Hyde, he's just getting blitzed in there. Still a ground ball. And the goaltender there, Hedgepeth. He's got three seconds, he can stay in that crease. Now let's see if Boone can get it up. Take their time and you can see Hedgepeth, that long pass again, that is such a low percentage play and you can see what happens each and every time. They're losing possession of the ball. Getting a little bit too greedy. Oh, wide open in front of the goal, and a goal! That's just a great quick pass in there to Chase Mags. Boone defense a little bit slow getting back, and a time, it looks like we got a, I think we got a timeout here as Weil takes an 8-3 lead. You know, Boone has had their opportunities. They just have uh, gotten a little bit too greedy that goal goes to number 33, Adam Baker, with an oh, assist Adam from Baker, number 15, Logan Hyde. So that was Adam Baker getting credit for the goal. All right, and we're uh, going to take a quick break on this timeout. We'll be back in a few moments. Okay, back at Bob Wolfram Field here at Why I'm Missing uh, High School, Why I'm Missing Sports Complex. For this BCIA action on flagship network, lacrosse, as Why I'm Missing leads, Daniel Boone, 8 to 3. Thanks for joining us. As I said, flagship network, Bruce Badgley here, our man Brandon Faust running the show here for flagship network today. Hope you're enjoying the action. And again, Face-off, so very important, and Boone comes up with that one. Racing around with it is Colin Reed, and he turns that one over to Gabe Segelein, and he's double-teamed, but somehow gets rid of it. Dan Spots, no good uh, for that shot. But off the missed shot, that will get turned back over to the Blazers. And behind the net there, that's Gabe Segelein. I tell you what, that Y.O. defense now really collapsing in there. Not a lot available near the goal. 
Trying a little pick there. Segalon still with it. Across there, and you just can't do that. Brody Inman, you just got to watch that ball right into your stick. He still comes up with it, but boy, dangerous there. And he's trying to, and he's double teamed. And a goal, that's a beautiful shot there by number 22, I believe, Dan Spots. Wow, I mean, he was ready to shoot, got the ball on his stick and fired it past the goalie. That was a big goal for the Blazers. Eight to four now, Spartans, but just shows you how important that face-off is. That goal goes to number 22, Danny Spots, with an assist from number nine, Brody Inman. So Brody Inman, <laughs> tell you what, recovered from that ground ball, a nice pass, and the rest was Dan Spots. So Boone hanging right in there. And this face-off battle has been fun to watch between Brody Inman and R.P. Allenbach. Let's see what happens here. And Allenbach, look at that. Cleanly right up. And, oh, look at that. Just a great job there by number five, uh, Beckett Redner. He fires it high into these new nets. I mean, we uh, Brandon and I were commenting before the game, this is the first time we've seen these, you know, this netting behind you know, what is, what is the uh, football end zone? So around the horn, Weil, Logan Hyde, and he was ready to shoot immediately, number 13, Chase Max, and bounces it right into the goal. I mean, he really whipped that one in there. Just shows you how important that goal that is. will go to number 13, Chase Mags, with an assist from number 15, Logan Hyde. So Mags and Hyde teaming up on that one. But as I mentioned, just shows you the value of that faceoff. And let's see what Allenbach can do. He's up against again Brody Inman. This has been quite a battle all game. And still a ground ball. Still loose, you can kick it. Oh, yeah, I, that was a penalty. You can't uh, hit the guy from behind. And that ball will go over to Boone. So that's number eight there, Aiden Gershon, who has got a goal for the Blazers today. He's got past his defender, he's, got, he's wide open, but really nice job there by number 22, Lucas Math, or excuse me, number 27, Tyler DeFribzio. Segaline back around the net. Shutter, who's got a couple goals for Boone so far today. Out to number 22, that's Dan Spots, who's played well. And a nice save, low and to the stick side by Pacini. And Wild taking their time bringing it up. That was a really nice job there by Ethan Conrad moving it forward. And a bad pass into the crease. But that doesn't make it to the boundary, so Weil retains possession. Logan Hyde moving on his man. And nice job, that was a, the shot was by uh, Beckett Redner, but a good job there breaking it up by that defense of the Blazers, so. On the missed shot, Wild to retain possession. Logan Hyde. Time to draw the defenders to him. Looking for an open man. And look at that, right in the crease there. No good, that was a nice shot 
And a nice pass to Torres. He just couldn't get that stick through fast enough. But again, on the missed shot, Wild to retain possession. And around the horn we go. That's number five there. Beckett Redner has had a good game for the Spartans. Trying to create that mismatch and a really nice job breaking it up up there. I think that was Colin Reed, number 13. Got his long stick on it for the Blazers. And here we go. On the attack, number four, Shutter. He's going right to the goal. Look at here. And a shot wide. And I think that's going to be Wild's ball. Yes, it will be. Good hustle by that Wild defense to get to that shot. And look at a long pass as we run down the quarter. And that's going to about do it. Four tenths of a second. There we go. So that ends the first half. Why am I missing? Nine. Daniel Boone, four. Actually a pretty good quarter by uh, Boone there. Hanging tough. Each team with a goal in the quarter. But uh, we're going to go away for a little bit. We'll be back shortly.
All right, welcome back to uh, Bob Wolfram Field at uh, Wyomissing Sports Complex or Wyomissing High School here, formerly known as the A-Field and BCIA Lacrosse. You can see your score there, uh, nine to four. Thanks for Palumbo Foods for supporting this broadcast of uh, Wyomissing and BCIAA Lacrosse action. Uh, just some of the goal scores from the first half. Let's talk about Wyo. Uh, Beckett Redner with a hat trick, three goals. Chase Mags had two goals. Logan High had two goals. Uh, and uh, Adam Baker, two goals for Why Missing. For the Blazers, Brandon Shutter had two goals. Aiden Gershon a goal. And Dan Spots scored that final goal as we were heading into halftime. But you're taking a look at, I think, what the reason is, is that we've got such a wide margin, and that's been really the dominance of uh, R.P. Allenbach on the faceoff all game long, you know, uh, has just given extra possessions to Wyoming missing, and they've really done a, a good job taking advantage of it. And the facing off there, and Allenbach kicks it. Over to it, and that's uh, Torres who cannot pick it up, but got kind of a scrum there. Torres comes away with it. Just a great job of perseverance there. Back it right there, Torres is wide open. Oh, and a great check there by number 11, Max Hefner on defense for the Blazers. Saved a goal. Great job by Hefner. Getting on that attackman and getting him out of the crease. Hefter now leading the charge, the long stick into the attack zone. Just what the Blazers need here. Getting some fired up, but oh boy, I tell you what, unforced error there. And that looks like Wyo's gonna come up with the ground ball. And Wyo with the possession here. I take that back. It is the Blazers with the ball. Shutter, Brandon Shutter with two goals in the first half. And getting things set up now for the Blazers here in the attack zone. Calling out the signals. And Wyo really doing a good job manning up very high. Aiden Gershon. Had a goal in the first half. Trying to get by his man, but somewhat double team there. And that's just exactly what I like, is I like to see those attackmen kind of come out from the goal. And, oh, wow. And that was saved by the goaltender. Hit him in the leg and bounced back out. And now quickly on the run is Logan Hyde on the fast break. And a shot and a goal there. Nice, nice job there from Hyde. Over to Chase Mags with a, just a blistering low shot into the back of the net and just that quick. Why missing now up 10-4. That goal will go to number 13, Chase Mags with an assist from number 15, Logan Hyde. So that's the hat trick now for Mags, three goals. So now the all-important face-off. R.P. Allenbach up against Brody Inman for the Blazers. And Inman comes up with it this time, but Allenbach doesn't give up, pokes the ball out. And we've got an injury. Unfortunately, somebody's down there. Looks like uh, Brody Inman, unfortunately, but uh, everybody taking a knee here at Bob from Field. So it's uh, 10 to four here, just as we've gotten into the second half, we're gonna Go away to a, a break here, I believe, and uh, back shortly.
Okay, we're back here at uh, Bob Wolfram Field. And why missing possession? Uh, had an injury, a player up and uh, on his own power got off the field. So we're back to action there. Logan Hyde. That's uh, Beckett Redner behind the goal, number 33 there. That's uh, Adam Baker. They had a couple goals and Logan Hyde. Oh, he's trying to get through. Look at that move and he shoots the ball wide. I think that somebody got stepped on in there, but while after the missed shot retains possession, there's Baker. And around the horn. While just basically taking their time here. And Beckett Redner gets it taken away. Oh, that you know that I'm I'm surprised that that wasn't a penalty, but yeah, and absolutely, and uh, we did get the penalty there. Uh, kind of slung the stick right across his neck as he was going up the sideline there. So I think that's going to be a full minute. I'd be shocked if it wouldn't be. So let's see what the officials uh, says there. Referee. And it looks like that is going to be number five there, uh, Beckett Redner out. And I believe that's going to be, it got to be a minute here. So the Blazers now. A man up, down 10-4. I think this is a key juncture of the game. They've got, I think, get something here while they've got the opportunity. Dan Spots. Spots looking for any kind of a, an open lane. And that's a, a nice shot and a great save there, again, by Pacini. And quickly out, that's number 14, Caden Ingram. Hold it. With the ball, and they're just trying to burn the penalty. No reason to attack, they need to burn the penalty here first. They actually did see a shorthanded goal the other night, which was, it's been a long time since I've seen a shorthanded goal in lacrosse, but. So while, and wide yeah. open, and there's another, it's a short-handed goal by number 33 for why I'm missing, Adam Baker. <laughs> wow, consecutive games, I've seen short-handed goals. That goal will go to number 33, Adam Baker. So while, rather than to play prudently, they just attack, and when given the opportunity, they took advantage of it, and Adam Baker, Puts that one in the back of the net, and now Wyo up 11 to four. Still a little bit more than eight minutes remaining here in quarter number three of this BCIA lacrosse action. Both these teams in 2A in the district. Wyo um, ranked number uh, four in the district, in District 3 2A. And look at that, Allenbach. I mean, he wins the faceoff again. Oh, but. You win the face off and then an unforced error on the pass gives the ball over to the Blazers. So let's see how the Blazers do. They just need to take their time. Short, crisp passes. They don't want these long bombs. But there's the goaltender and he does find someone. Deep down there, that's uh, Brody Inman. And it's stolen away. They give it right back. Redner, and he get, takes it, or gets it stolen right back. Now here come the Blazers. Gershon. So they're going to take their time. Oh, and he loses possession. Boy, that is just...
Uh, quickly passes it across there to uh, Gabe Segalein. Segalein there, little opening right in the middle there and a shot goes wide by number four, Brandon Shutter, who's got a couple goals on the game. And the Blazers retain possession on the missed shot. Right in the crease there, beautiful score! Brandon Shutter with his third goal of the game, a great feed, point blank range. And the Blazers, just like I talked about, being a very key juncture of the game to get right back in this score. Wild still up 11 to five, but the Blazers hanging right in there. You know, a couple of face-offs. This is where the play of uh, Allenbach on the face-off all game long has just not given the Blazers much of a chance to get back in this. That goal will go to number four, Brandon Shutter. So the all-important face-off, and there's Allenbach. Look at this. Oh, but he overruns it. Inman, he can't hang on to it. And while some great forechecking there, and a great job keeping it in, but Boone will get possession on the ground ball. Now let's see what they can do about getting it up the field. Nice job there, that's Segaline. And cutting in there, that was a great pass to Shutter, but he just couldn't get the ball off his stick. And there's number five, Redner, Beckett Redner, no good, passes. It looks like we got a penalty, no, play on they say. And the ground ball, the Blazers trying to retain possession and quickly up the field. And a nice long pass connects to Nolan Tyndall, number 24. Got it behind the net. That's Gershon, but the ground ball, and I'm not entirely sure why the whistle's blowing. I didn't see exactly why they stopped play, but. Looks like Boone will get the ball back in the attack zone. And so we are ready to go. Gabe Segaline. This is Gershon right at the top there. And a low shot there by Gershon. Kind of gets knocked down by the grass that time and Weil comes up with it. And a good job here, methodically bringing it up by the Spartans. Oh, in stride there to, ta excuse me, to uh, DeFibrizio. And eventually behind the net there, Logan Hyde comes up with it. Working it till the net, to the net. Works on his man, nothing there. So they'll reset. Logan High with two goals on the game here, trying to get things moving again for a while. He ditches his man behind the net, but not an open opportunity to shoot. Beckett Redner with the hat trick. Over to number 27, Tyler DeFab DeFabrio. And through the net, oh, just a great save there by Hedgepath. I tell you what, Hedgepath has really kept Daniel Boone in this game with some really stellar saves. And the long stick, number 13 there, Colin Reed. Look at this guy go. Oh, and a tough pass. And it looks like uh, we're going to have a hold. And that ball is going to go back over to Daniel Boone. 
So Boone to re retain possession in the attack zone. Down 11 to five, while up 11 five, down to about 340. And right in on goal, that was number 36 there, uh, Tegan Riekert. And the shot was no good. It quickly, while back on the attack, Beckett Redner. Oh, a uh, avoids the defender and wide open. Yeah. That yeah. left somebody wide open and that Sweet, wide open was number 33 there. Adam Baker for his fourth goal of the game. That was just great teamwork there. Brought the defender out. That Baker. goal goes to number 33, Adam Baker, with an assist from number five, Beckett Redner. Yeah, Beckett Redner, just a great job there. <laughs> Making the defender commit, come out to him, and a nice cut by Adam Baker to the goal. And let's see if uh, R.P. Allenbach can retain this dominance on the faceoff. And still up for grabs. Anybody gonna get it? Out of bounds. Let's see what the official has to say. They're looking at one another. Looks like Wild's gonna retain possession. The dominance on the faceoff, in large part, the reason why the Spartans are up 12 to five. So around the horn, that's out to Logan High now, right in the center of the field. And taking their time, High though, I tell you what, defenders right up on him. Quickly, two guys behind the net for a while. Oh, good move there, and wide. That was one heck of a move there by number five, Beckett Redner. Everything but the finish on that one. So off the missed shot, Spartans. Hyde got past his defender, but it looked like it was blocked. So while to retain possession, and uh, a shot that just kind of got, that died in the bodies in front of the net, ends up in the crease with a ground ball. Oh. Wiles got it, oh! Yeah. See, yeah. I mean, that's back, sweet. behind yeah. the back, over the shoulder, Beckett Redner, that's the goal of the game. That's the goal of the game. Picked up the ground ball, went over the shoulder, back to the goal, that was incredible. That goal will go to number five, Beckett Redner. Redner's fourth goal of the game now, while comfortably up 13 to five. And I say comfortably because every time they're scoring, R.P. Allenbach is in large part a lot of the reason why they're getting this lead. And Allenbach comes up with it. Oh, the ground ball and Wild does retain possession. Look at that, the long stick's always gonna shoot when they get in there, that was number nine. Ethan Conrad, he gets anywhere near the goal with the long stick, he's going at it, so. Just to let you know, uh, lacrosse players, I mean, if you see the long stick anywhere near in the tag zone, go get it, because he's gonna be shooting it. So the Blazers now trying to move it up, and a good job, but, a big check in there. And the ground ball comes over to Wild. Wow. Heavy hitting out there. That's Baker, and he's intercepted. But I think we've got a penalty coming up. Penalty coming up, I believe, on the Blazers. So that's going to give uh, a man advantage. Looks like it's a 30-second Violation, so Wyo with a 30 second man advantage. Down to a minute 26 remaining here. Go. 
And we are ready to go. So out front it looks like, or excuse me, off to the side there, it looks like that's Torres to Logan Hyde. And around the side, Torres back to Redner and he shoots and it's wide. And I'm surprised that they're giving the ball to Wild. I thought Boone was closer, but anyway, Wild, wow, just winding up. That was number 13 there, Chase Mags, and it's target practice now for Wild. That's Chase Mags' fourth goal of the game. To that goal will go to number 13, Chase Mags, with an assist from number 15, Logan Hyde. So 14 to five now, minute eight. And uh, Wild really starting to put some distance, but like I keep saying, I mean, the importance of winning these face-offs for Boone, just paramount. And look at this, Allenbach trips. And yeah, they, uh, they are gonna give the ball on the trip to Wyo, here's Adam Baker who's got three goals on there, excuse me, four goals on the game with the ball. Logan Hyde. Round the horn we go. And that was Redner. Looking for more blood. Here's uh, Logan Hyde trying to get his man going. Yeah. Falling down, what a shot. Logan Hyde on the way down, right through the goaltender's legs. Oh, oh man. That goal goes to number 15, Logan Hyde. And the hat trick for Hyde, just great concentration on that shot as he's going down, the presence of mind to fire it and he put it right through the goaltender's legs. Incredible. So another wild goal, still have 36.6 left. I mean, that's why this faceoff is so important. Boone's gotta try and stop the bleeding and look at Allenbach, oh my, wins another one. <laughs> Around the side there. I tell you what, there's blood in the water there. Baker uh, somehow gets that in. That wasn't the hardest shot, but that was a tough bounce in the goal crease. And quite honestly, I think it bounced between over the goaltender's shoulder and into the goal. I think if the goaltender would have went out and attacked the ball, it would have been better. But that's Baker's fifth goal. That goal goes to number 33, Adam Baker. So blood in the water, I keep harping on it, but again, that doesn't happen if Boone can somehow win these faceoffs. R.P. Allenbach just done a great job all game long in winning these faceoffs. And on uh, the interference there, it is going over to Wyo again. Torres. Redner. They gotta take a shot here, running down the quarter. And uh, kinda went off the side of the stick and that is going to end quarter number three with Wyo out in front here. 16 to five. We are gonna go away for a few moments and we'll be back with quarter number four.
welcome back to uh, Bob Wolfram Field here on uh, why I'm missing. Hey, listen, I want to uh, correct an error I had. Uh, we had a change in jersey number 42 in this game. It's actually Ari Levine, number 42, who has been winning these faceoffs for uh, why I'm missing. So Ari Levine, who's uh, basically uh, wearing number 42 today, has been doing such a great job. And we're going to have a tough time. Uh, Brandon Faust and I uh, are having a tough time trying to figure out uh, there. And there he is, number 42. That's actually Ari Levine. So uh, great job today, Ari. And he's going to be facing it off here again. From what I was told, I think uh, Ari had a little mishap with his normal jersey. So that's why he's wearing number 42. So uh, off we go here. Ari Levine trying to maintain this dominance on the faceoff, and he's up against Brody Inman for the Blazers. And look at here, Levine with another one. And here we go with Wild. That's uh, that was Ethan. Uh, uh, excuse me, Ethan Cook or Conrad with it and a while to turn it over. So the Blazers now up with it to start this quarter. And again, let's see how the Blazers do. I think they, they've got to get some of their attackmen and, and middies involved in this. And you can see they're trying to throw it over the press and it just hasn't worked all game long. Here's Torres and he is just threading his way through, wide open. Just, that was an absolutely wonderful pass to number 13, Chase Mags. But Jesu Torres with a wonderful feed. And that's goal number five for Chase Mags, wow. That goal will go to number 13, Chase Mags with an assist from number six, Jose Torres. So Torres, and again, Ari Levine is number 42 today, who's done a great job on the faceoffs for a while, and uh, they're at it once again. And Wild retains the faceoff once again. That's a number nine, Ethan Conrad, and gives that over. And uh, Conrad takes a, I want to say seat, but everybody's standing, so. <laughs> Wild done a great job. I mean, the face-offs have been the key to this game, giving them all the opportunities that they had. That's number four, Schwambach. Schwam Schwambach. Oh, just a great get there by number 13, Chase Mags on that high pass. And back behind the net, Logan Hyde. And he gets into the act. Logan Hyde with his fourth goal of the game. And now Wild just pouring it on, 18 to five. So when we have more, of a, more than 10 goal lead, it is running clock. So we've got a running clock here at why I'm missing. As we see it running down there to about 10 minutes left. That goal goes to number 15, Logan Hyde. And Logan Hyde with the goal. And uh, the aforementioned Ari Levine, who has just done a wonderful job on face-offs all game. Just does it again. Look at that. Incredible. Incredible the advantage for a team when they have a face-off performance like Ari Levine has had today. So Torres, that's Baker, Adam Baker. And in the hands there, I believe that was uh, number 13, Chase Mags. Torres now surveying things. Boy, he's fast. Finds an opening, crosses over. Look at he gets to the goal, and a, a good save there by Hedgepath. And the Blazers trying to find 
a way to get it out of their own end. And Torres, a nice four check. And he comes up with the ground ball behind the net. And just a nice reset. Mags. And that, that's just too good. That is just too good. Chase Mags, his sixth goal of the game. Incredible. And as I said, blood in the water here, wow. That goal goes to number 13, Chase Mags. But as I, you know, I keep harping on it, I mean, being given all the opportunities with those face-offs wins by Ari Levine. So ready for the face-off once again, running clock, 19 to five. And you gotta be kidding me, Levine again. So Chase Mags now. And Lyle just kind of taking their time. Adam Baker. Now we're to Schwambach. And his feed gets taken behind the net to Redner. And around the horn they go. Wow, I think they're just going to take their time here. No reason to rush it. Running clock. They're up 19 to 5. And a shot goes wide. So a while to retain possession. Thanks for joining us here. Flagship Network, Bruce Badgley, man behind the controls of Flagship, Net Flagship Network, Brandon Faust, doing a great job here today. BNB Media, I mean, we're all over the place here with programming. Make sure that you follow us on social media. Going to have a lot of announcements on upcoming programming. Going to be doing some baseball and with uh, Mike Drago Sports and play. Uh, pleased to, uh, you know, be working with Mike again here for the spring sports season. Uh, right into the net and wide. That was a great move there by George Schwambach, but unfortunately could not get it in the back of the net. But yeah, BNB Media flagship network working with Mike Drago Sports. Be seeing some announcements upcoming from Mike, I'm sure, on some of the programming that we're going to be doing. And Wild loses uh, possession here, and the home run ball, long one there to number five, Christian Salguero. Attack, attack, attack is what Coach Wagner's saying. And he's got an opening. Oh, quickly, look at here, right in the crease, but a good job there by uh, Jimenez to break that up. Aiden Jimenez done a great job, number 88, and he's leading the charge up there. Boy, I tell you, just wail on him there. It's number nine, Brody Inman, but no dice. And it looks like we got a timeout. Did we get a timeout call? Or yeah, looks like that's a timeout. Not entirely sure. I think that that was uh, a why I'm missing timeout. So we're gonna go to a break and we'll be back shortly.
Okay, back here at uh, Bob Wolfram Field here. And why I'm missing uh, Wild all over Daniel Boone, 19 to five. Got a uh, mercy rule game here, running clock with 5.18 remaining. Uh, don't forget to stick around after the game. We'll have an interview with the player of the game. So stick with us on that. Uh, and again, Jose Torres, I tell you, and we got a penalty that looked like we're gonna have a slash call, but he just was unrelenting there. Takes the shot that went wide, but looks like uh, uh, the Blazers are gonna go a man down. And uh, quite honestly, I'm surprised that the clock stops with this. Really? So, um, Good call, Ruff. So onward we go here. Yep, clock running now. Man up for Wyo. And around the horn, this is uh, where us uh, announcers uh, earn our keep because we've got all the substitutes in there. That shot was by Alexander Gabrielli. And a nice save by Hedgepath. And the Blazers now with an opportunity. That's uh, number 11, Max Hefner. And he's just going to say, I'm taking it. And some pushing and shoving in there, so the Blazers will retain possession. And off we go. There's number eight, Aiden Gershon, who's actually played very good for the Blazers today. As I said, I think one of the big reasons uh, why Awayo uh, has dominated uh, was uh, uh, Ari Levine and his ability to win these face-offs right to the goal there, number four. And that was a beautiful pass and an even better save by Keaton Pacini. And Pacini now leading the break along the side and out of bounds. One thing there you saw very clearly, uh, the uh, the uh, side marker line sometimes on these uh, AstroTurf fields, um, you can't tell you know one line versus another. And uh, obviously you saw very clearly, this is the outline of just the lacrosse field here, we're down to three minutes remaining, running clock. Boone trying to get something going here. And again, oh, but a nice shot and an even better save again by Pacini. That was a, a wide open shot that he stopped. Wheels, wheels. Number 19, Gabrielli. And wide open, and another, that is a hedge path, look at there. Right into the, into the basket there. Liam Hedgepath, you know, he's played very well today, quite honestly. He kept the Blazers in this game for quite a bit of it. And wide open there, and the shot's blocked. Shot taken by number four, George, or excuse me, um, Brandon Shutter. Shutter trying to get to the goal again. And right in front, that's number 22 with the score, Dan Spots. Shutter, though, brought the defenders to him. Spots camped out right in front of the goal, and he puts it in there. So that might just take us right to the end of the game. So 19 to 6. That goal will go to number 22, Danny Spots, with an assist from number four, Brandon Shutter. So Shutter the assist. And uh, we are going to uh, try and get, after the game here, we're gonna try and get our player of the game, uh, Chase Mags. We have him for six goals today for the Spartans. And here come the Blazers as we wind it down here into the last minute. That's number 11, Max Hefner. 
Boone still with the ball. Shutter! Oh, just, he is stopped there by Bettini. Down to the last 30 seconds here. Ball's on the ground. While trying to get it back to the goaltender and on defense, Aiden Jimenez, who's played very well today. Look at there. Right by. Pretty nimble-footed guy for a big fella. And you knew he was going to shoot. Anytime the long stick gets into the attack zone, you know they're firing it. Anywhere near. And that's going to wind us down, and that does it. So stick with us here. Uh, hang with us. We're going to have... An interview with, with our player of the game, Chase Max, here in a moment. That concludes our game for this evening. The win goes to our Spartan boys. This Saturday, the boys will be back on the field against Lampeter Stroudsburg. Start time is 11 a.m. Again, this Saturday, our boys will be back on the field against Lampeter Stroudsburg. Start time, 11 a.m. Thank you for coming out this afternoon, and please have a safe trip home. Welcome back to uh, Bob Wool from Field here and Why I'm Missing. Bruce Badgley with our most valuable player, Chase Max. How you doing, my man? Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> have you ever had six goals in a game before? Because that's have. what I had you had down for, for this one. I have. I have. Really? In a varsity yeah. game here? Uh, like yes, in high school? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. And you're planning on going and playing lacrosse at the next level, right? Yes, sir. And uh, tell us about, you know, what's, what's next for you, obviously, after your senior season here. Uh, I look forward to going to Susquehanna and playing golf and lacrosse for the for the Riverhawks, so mm -hmm. that should be fun. Yeah, you were a man after my own heart when, uh, you know, Coach Donahue was talking before the game. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I played lacrosse club, but I mean, and, uh, you know, was, was a big golfer there too. But, you know, the one thing that I felt for you guys out there today, which I thought was key, was how many times you guys uh, were able to get the face off. I mean, yeah. uh, Ari did a great job. Ari Levine awesome. did, a, did an awesome job out there. And talk a little bit about, I mean, how you guys will, will emphasize that aspect of the game to really get your offense moving. 
Well, with Ari at the X, I mean, we're, we're pretty confident with him getting the ball. And with Ethan on the wing, I mean, we're guaranteeing the ground balls. So it's looking pretty good for the for our team and it gives us the ball and you can't win without the ball so it's important yeah and you guys are kind of feeding off one another you could see out there i mean it was kind of a feeding frenzy there in the second half yeah. i think uh, logan was trying to get into the act everybody oh, else was. was doing uh, doing so well i mean um you know i had adam baker for five goals uh you had six uh logan ended up with four uh, Beckett Redner had four goals. I mean, is that really kind of the guys that Wyo has got to count on if you want to, you know, obviously beyond the BCIA to, to make some noise in the postseason, right? I mean, that's what we're looking for. I mean, we're hoping the younger guys also keep stepping up like they did today. That was huge. That was big. Uh, helped us put a lot of points on the board, keep the ball rolling, and... I mean, that was huge. And talk a little bit about your goaltending. I mean, uh, oh, Keaton. <laughs> I mean, he was pretty incredible out there today. Oh yeah, he was. He was a brick wall. He always is. He's huge for us. He's keeping us in big games. I mean, he's keeping our record positive, which is huge. I mean, our defense is great too. But having a brick wall back there has been huge the past three years. Yeah, I, I was pretty impressed. I mean, I did Trinity. Uh, you know, earlier in the week, obviously in the district. I mean, they're you know one of the top teams. You've got another top team coming in this Saturday, right? Uh, Lampeter Strasburg. Talk a little bit about that. Um, I mean, we're going in pretty confident. I know it, I know they're a really good team. They're ranked number one right now, and we're four. We're looking for an upset. Should be a, should be a good game. I mean, they only beat Mifflin by two, so should be a should be a fun game, and hopefully we can pull up the upset. Yeah, and, you know, when you when you came into this season, um, did you did you come in with, obviously, a high degree of confidence? You have some really good talent out there, but, uh, you know, when there's expectations, it puts pressure on a team. You guys seem to be handling that pressure pretty well, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't think most of us are even paying attention to that. I think we just came out, knew we were going to be pretty good, and just kept the pedal down and kept going. It's helped with the coaches keeping us going, and it's been good. Yeah, Coach Donahue, I tell you what, he's he's done a great job. Um, we are, uh, uh, is he still out there on the field? I, uh, yeah, he's down there somewhere. I, I tell you what, if you could do me a favor, if can you could run out. Yeah, if, if you would send him up, want to talk to Coach Donahue a little bit. Listen, it's very nice to meet you. Congratulations, here. and I'll see you down the road. Thank you. Coach Donahue in a moment. See you. Thank you. Okay, welcome back to uh, Bob Wolfram Field. I'm here with the winning coach, Bern Donahue. Congratulations on the win, my friend. Those guys Thank look you. good out there today. Uh, we played well. Uh, we've just been improving every day, and happy to see us get a big win again on this field. I, I was sitting there trying to figure out, you know, where the deficiency was in your team, and I didn't see it. Ari Levine, Mr. 42 there, uh, with a great job on the faceoffs today. Uh, your goaltending, outstanding. You had uh, uh, a really balanced scoring. I mean, five goals for Adam Baker. Chase had six, I show. Uh, Logan, four. And uh, Beckett Redner, four. I mean, you know, some balanced scoring. Um, I was really impressed with Aiden Jimenez on defense. He's he a really big body. Today. I mean, uh, talk a little bit about, I mean, these guys, there there is every aspect of the game that I was totally impressed with out there. Daddy, how about you? Uh, I was impressed with the defense today. I think we came out a little slow, but we definitely adjusted. Uh, I think it helped that Aiden adjusted. Uh, he was creating turnovers. I think he had four caused turnovers wow. today. So he was getting the ball up and out, and then our offensive guys were ex executing on the fast break. Yeah, they, they really were. And, 
um, you know, obviously uh, Ari on the face-offs today was amazing. I mean, that was really, in my mind, that just kind of sets the tone for a team, right? I mean, getting things started, getting those extra possessions, especially, you know, after, you know, I call it, you know, make it, take it, you know, after you get that goal. Yes, uh, Ari's been working the face-off X really well, and that's what's helped us score 39 goals in two games. That is incredible. I mean, uh, you know, and, and that kind of offense – you know, putting stuff like that on film for teams, you know, that's kind of, you know, give them a double take there. But you guys, I mean, you're really starting to get into the meat of your schedule there. You got um, LS coming up, um, you know, your conference schedule. So for you, I mean, as you go through a season like this, you know, how do you try and get your team to kind of keep peaking? Because, boy, right now, they seem to be playing at a very high level. Uh, it's funny you mention that because that's what my post-game speech was, is that <laughs> uh, we're only approaching the halfway point of the season, and we, we keep improving every day, but we can't peak. Uh, we can be at our half peak, but we got to keep improving because we're only halfway there, and we got a lot of good teams down the stretch. Yeah, and talk a little bit about how, you know, quite honestly, you know, the secret's out, okay? Now there's expectations about this why I'm missing team, and um, – you know, talk a little bit about, yeah, like I said, playing with expectations that, you know, you guys are good and you expect to beat people. Uh, that is something definitely that's hard to flip the script uh, with a program that was used to getting blown out kind of frequently. Uh, you got to change the mentality there. Uh, it's certainly taken a couple of years, but now it's sort of keeping them humble and keep it to ourselves and not getting far ahead. Just one game at a time, be one to know today and it's been a long road, but I'm really happy and so ha proud of these boys that they come to work every day and just keep improving. Well, I, I tell you what, I was impressed. Thanks a lot, Burn, for your time. And, you know, best of luck the regular season. You know, hopefully we'll uh, catch you down the road, all right? Sweet. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, welcome back to uh, Bob Wolfram Field here. One final, or a few final thoughts here after a 19 to six win today from Wyoming over Daniel Boone. Just an impressive performance in all aspects of the game. Uh, 
you know, we were talking to, you know, Burn Donahue, the uh, head coach of YMSing. Uh, he seems to be very pleased with his team. Chase Maggs was our most valuable player uh, with six goals. It was kind of tough to uh, pick a most valuable player when you've got uh, uh, one player with six goals, two with four, and another with five. And R. Levine with a great job on the faceoffs there. But uh, I'll tell you what, just a very impressive performance with Why I'm Missing. They're getting into the teeth of their schedule. We'll see what they do. I mean, uh, they've got some uh, a tough road to go here. Uh, beginning actually this weekend with Lampeter Strasburg, one of the top teams in District 3. But uh, why I'm missing, I can tell you what, after doing some uh, games around District 3, this team uh, here, the Spartans, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with as we head into the postseason. So listen, thanks for joining us here on Flagship Network uh, with my man Brandon Faust. My name is Bruce Badgley. Thanks for joining us. Keep a watch on our social media for our next action, not only here, but at Mike Drago Sports.